Here we are at the California RV show. I was walking around the grounds here and I came across this old bus. It says Leisure Coach works on the front and that's who modified this coach. The owner is Rockford Naylor. Hey Rockford, good to see you. And his bus is a Peggy Sue and it was on the cover of the September issue, was it? Uh, yeah, September 17. September 2017 issue of Bus Conversion Magazine. We'll put that on the website so everybody can see that issue and read the article. But tell us a little bit about your rust. Your bus there, Rockford. This, uh, this bus is a 1956 PD 4104, number 1620. Uh, they made this bus from 53 to 1960, and they made just over 5,000 of them. So uh, in particular, this bus uh, was uh, nowhere near this condition when it was bought by my uncle in 1988. So uh, he bought the bus, and... Uh, Talked to, uh, got to know this fellow out of Turner that had fiberglassing and made molds for the uh, roof uh, caps. Front and rear. Out. Yep. Flared out the fenders and also did the tailgate. So uh, with that in mind, he, he advertised for uh, this fellow from Turner, Oregon, and, and uh, was uh, subsequently was on uh, ads all through the United States. So I kind of brought out the the history of the bus in, in its early days, and my uncle and my aunt, they went all over the U.S. in this, uh, but back in those days, the colors were mauve and grays and pinks, and they had curtains and uh, a lot of things. You know, the technology was not nothing like what it is today. So anyhow, uh, with that in mind, we put a, a new awning on it that uh, if the wind hits it wrong, it'll close itself up. Okay. got uh, peninsula windows that are insulated, and I got the darkest uh, shade of gray I can put on it. Okay. And, uh, so anyway, my uncle had, he went through the bus, gutted it, and uh, made it pretty much the configuration it is now uh, with some subtle changes that I have done uh, and my wife uh, through the years after that. So okay. we bought it from him in 2015 and uh, brought it to John... Uh, Goldstein in uh, January of 2016, and it took him almost exactly six months to do this. And he soda powder, blasted all the old paint, took care of any cancer that was uh, metal on the bus, and uh, primed it twice. And then uh, uh, he and I came up with this design. I I actually made, uh, did this, put this design on a napkin, kind of came to me. And then I sent it to uh, Gary, and he came back with a couple different conceptions of it. But this is what we picked. So we used his logo for the front of the bus, and then we wrapped the uh, wings that are on the bus, and uh, brought them around, and then swooped them up in the back, and we airbrushed uh, a Greyhound dog just up above. Okay. So anyway, the, the, everybody uh, that has one of these knows that a lot of aluminum buses. These are solid aluminum polished. Uh, we used, uh, we, we uh, updated the round headlights to a square headlight. Uh, this is original equipment and this is original pneumatic uh, windshield wipers, which wow. I very seldom use. Right. I, I always put the uh, uh, the X... Uh, rain X? Yeah, the Rain X right. on there and that, you know, sheds the water really well. Right. Yep. But the bus has really held up so good. All the aluminum is in excellent, excellent condition. Uh, we added a, a, a bright uh, LED light for when I'm coming in off the freeway. Okay. And it's nice to have that because, uh, uh, you know, my vision isn't what it used to be, that's for sure. Right, right. So, anyway, on the uh, driver's side, we have a, a 6.5 ONAM generator that's a... Uh, I kind of, I, I, I try to keep it detailed out. It Good. runs yep. really well. I've got a 20 gallon uh, uh, water heater on the other side of it. Okay. That's, that's locked up right now. I can, did you want to see it? No, you don't need to, that's fine. And uh, so, okay. and then we have a bay here, and this is the, the black and the gray water. And then this is where our uh, batteries for the engine. Okay. Shut them off at night time. We put a brand new uh, 
radiator in it, 15 gallon. Okay. It's got a uh, Uh, you notice that muffler right there is huge. It's oh, yes. about the biggest you can get on this guy. Yep, sure. Yeah, you know, it's got a brand huh. new compressor. It's got a, uh, a new alternator that's uh, 12 volt negative ground, which is indicative of the 50s. Okay, years. sure. Yeah, and uh, again, this is a tailgate, all fiberglass and fiberglass cap. Okay. Put, uh, put on a brand new backup camera. Let's see. Yep. yep. All the LEDs uh, are John's uh, from Goldstein from uh, Leisure Coach Work. They put them all on there. Yeah, that really brightens it up. Yeah, yeah it works great. A lot better than the regular ones. This is a, a V730 Allison transmission. Okay. And uh, this uh, has been re regularly maintained. Good, good. It's in yep. great shape. I'll take you on inside if you'd like to see it. Sure, let's see the got, inside. Uh, there's a the dog. By, by the way, you, you, if you <laughs> notice up on top, there's a, a solar power. We have four 100 panel solar uh, panel with the panels up there with a solar collector in the bay down below. Okay. Yep. And with a, a 2000 inverter. That's a lot of solar for a bus. Although it's about what you need to boondock. Okay, we'll go inside the bus and check it out. It's beautifully done in here. Yeah, he, they did a beautiful job. Hmm. Now, I had uh, improved some on the uh, on the passageway through here. If you notice the uh, bench seat used to come right out here. Oh yes. And it would almost plug you up. Right, a lot of so people try to trim those we, off. We shortened it up and uh, yep. John went ahead and cut this corner. I didn't think of that. I mean that's what it's the a good does. It's it a good idea. Good. Yep. yep. Put all brand new Corian countertops with uh, seamless drop-in sinks. That's beautiful. Uh, we have lounge chairs that lay back and we put a, a we share a stool that we throw our feet up and okay. in the mornings we have a cup of coffee and this is a fireplace. Oh, I thought it was a TV down there, but no, the TV's that's, up that's top. Okay. <laughs> All right. The TV jumps up here. It jumps up, it's okay. It's a smart TV, so we have Wi-Fi on our uh, our tow car that we use that and we get Netflix and all that other stuff. Okay. This is uh, actually a picture of all the trophies we've won. Wow, that's In amazing. the last three years. Huh. Uh, you know, even you know stuff like this. So we yep. Yep. have this all in place. Very nice. Yeah, here's your here's our magazine. Oh, too. look at that! There's Bus right Conversion here. Magazine, the top selling right. magazine in the United States for buses That's and right. people that convert them. <laughs> and all, our, okay. all the knowledge of this bus is in these two. Uh, well, there's two. Okay. That's right here. And that's and your tribal the, knowledge there. I track everything with this. Bus. Great, great. We have nice deep <laughs> drawers. Down here. Yep, so there's no wasted and space. And, and all down here, and brand mm -hmm. new uh, three burner stove. And, and uh, yep. okay. here's our uh, 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 inverter and, and uh, power for Renology. We use Renology to do the, uh, the solar, uh, yep. solar panel. That's a good uh -huh. company. Yep. And put a new microwave in it. And okay. This, uh, now, this, this is the original. Uh, refrigerator and it uh, runs best on propane, but right. it also will run on uh, AC and DC. So, right. Uh, it's it's a great unit. We have a cedar wow. closet. It looks like a sauna from here. But yeah. That's the closet. Okay. It's a cedar closet. It feels like a sauna today. It's warm. <laughs> it, 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 yeah, it's, the humidity is up in there. Wow, that's nice. Right, and uh, if you want to now, if you notice this this material right here, this yeah. is what John. Oops. Oops. And uh, it's all throughout. It's the, the, all the wall skins have been replaced with this, okay. as well as the doors have all been reskinned. Okay, great. Um, the, the cabinets all have brand new cabinet doors from mm -hmm. this company. And these walls were all like this. They were all in place here, but okay. he actually reskinned everything. Okay, all right. So that's pretty nice. All right. You get it out of your way, and if you want, you can step right. back to the back bedroom. All right. So and this then is step the bedroom. Into the bathroom. There's a television on your left. I see that. With yep. a CD player in it. 
Okay. So, and uh, you notice the countertops has the Corian back there next to the beds. That's very nice, yeah. Yeah, yep. both sides. Nice. And then, uh, huh. The bathroom. Oh, for the bathroom. Bathroom right here, and I'll get the light for you. Okay. Hmm. In the bathroom yeah. and shower, it's and a big shower. Shower floor and yep. in great shape. Everything is got a porthole mirror. Oh, that's very nice. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't open though, I guess. Yes, it does. <laughs> oh, it does Actually, open. Okay. It does open. And, uh, okay. Huh. Uh, it was my intention huh. to put a special picture of of uh, John's crew in there. He doesn't know I'm going to do that. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he never watches our videos. Yeah, he doesn't watch it. Right. <laughs> right. Gosh, okay. this is beautiful. So, uh, and then a lot of huh. under uh, uh, counter lighting. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yep. it's, it's nice. It's a nice feature. Got it up here on top and over here as well. Mm hmm. Okay. So. And this an, is this a normal height bus or was this roof yeah, this raised? Is, no, it hasn't been raised. Okay. This is the standard height of these buses. And there's plenty of room, even under the air new, conditioner. Uh, uh, brand new uh, uh, air conditioning units, front and back. Okay. New air vents all throughout. Um, hmm. You know, new flooring. This is yep. part of their uh, selection. That uh, what we did is we went into John's uh, uh, parts area where he has all these different uh, Corians, different color Corians and floor colors, and even wood colors, and we collectively put them together and put our own. Uh, spin on how we want them placed and mm -hmm. and uh, with his uh, crew and him we've managed to put uh, put it together and great we're really appreciative of that yes yeah he does a great job over there yeah this He's... is a 20 inch uh huh. mahogany steering wheel from uh, steering creations incorporated oh, okay it's made in italy oh okay wow uh, the company president came out to portland he saw our bus online and said uh, he wanted to see it. So wow. he came over to our house with an 18 inch, uh -huh. just like this one. I said, I'd rather have a 20 inch. Mm -hmm. So uh, he sold me uh, this $600 jobby for 400 bucks. That's a good deal. Which then. is a good yep. deal, yeah. Huh, wow. Absolutely. So we're real happy again on that. You got a backup it's, camera in the dash. Got a nice backup camera. Yeah, yeah. That's I mean, nice. You can to read have. license plates with that, right? <laughs> They're getting better now. Oh, they are. Wow. Oh, and this right here is for my wife. Okay. That's a and bar? The, oh. <laughs> and she, uh, she stretches Good. out in this and That's uh, nice. tells me how to drive. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> so you just stand in and hold the steering wheel. She does all yeah, the driving, huh? Right. Okay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> all right. She tells me where huh. to go and how to get there. <laughs> there you go. I wish I had one of those. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, well, that was very good. Thank you very much, oh, Rockford. You're welcome. Uh, John. Privilege to see you. You do a right. lot of good things for the community. Great, thanks. Yep, I enjoy doing them. I meet a lot of good bus nuts yeah, with this magazine, so you it's really great. A lot of great information oh, you're willing to share. Yep, off. thanks. Let me get a picture of these two signs sure. before I shut down. In case people want to see these. That's a little bit about what John does at Leisure Coach Works with his crew. Some pictures there, and over here is a little storyboard here. A story about Rockford's bus. And I don't know if you can read it, but I'll stick with that for just a minute. So yeah, you can study up on that. That's a picture of my uncle right there. In my hand. Oh, okay. Yep. They're the ones that put this uh, bus together. Okay. Initially. 1988, it was like this. Wow, 88. It's changed actually, a little. Actually, was uh, similar to this with the windows. Okay. But uh, he put the cutouts and filled it in. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, I think if real bus nuts will know that this is a 4106. So right. It should have been a yep. 4104. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Needless to say, it's huh. it is what it is. Oh, that's amazing. All right. Well, that's the end of the story. Like I said, we'll make the uh, magazine that. Rockford's bus is on. We'll put it on our website so everybody can read it. It'll be right on the front page in the next day or two. So you can check it out, read it, and uh, 
hopefully you can meet, see Rocks for Busted person sometime. He's at some of the shows. Are you going to be in Quartzite this year? Uh, I don't think so. He's not going to make it to Quartzite. He was there a couple of years ago with his bus. Yeah. He's out here at California RV show today, but now and again he shows up depending on his schedule. Yeah. We'll be around. All right, well, thanks for watching and have a nice day.